Hey guys, my name is Manjanath and in this video I will be teaching you how you can use Vue.js CDN in your project. You just have to go to v3.vjs.org. When I am recording this video, Vue.js 3 is not yet completely released. So I have to go to v3.vjs.org. Whenever the Vue.js 3 gets released completely, you just have to go to vjs.org and you will be able to use Vue 3. Let me click get started here and you just have to click uh, installation and you just have to find a place where it says CDN. I will just copy this particular CDN and we will just use it in this particular file. I have one index.html and main.js two files already created. I will just create HTML boilerplate by using exclamatory enter and I will just get one HTML boilerplate. I'll just write title view cdn no? test. Let me just copy uh, copy whatever I copied a while ago again if it is not copied and let me paste it in here. The VJS CDN is copied and I have to link this main.js here by using the script src and writing main.js in here. Let me just go to main.js and write some console log here so that let's just test everything is working fine. Just have written hello world and I have to run this particular thing using the live server. Just click open with live server and it opens up the live server in here. And if I just open the console in here, I'll be able to see hello world return which is I have mentioned the console log in here. Let me just clear this out and try to write some kind of view code. Before that I have to in single page application whatever JavaScript you write it will get rendered into one div and that can be any div but let me just write div hash app that will create a div with the ID of app and let me I, you don't have to write anything in here now I'll just write hello world just for making sure this particular thing works if you write here write this that thing here it will just print hello world here showing that this particular div is visible in the index.html let me go to main.js and in here I'll just write I'll just create one variable called app and I'll just create it empty as of now. Let me just mount the VJS application to this particular ID in here because we have used VJS CDN in here. We'll get access to view dot variable. So once I wrote view dot, I just have to write create app which will create a new VJS app by using this particular variable that is we have written in this particular line that is const app and we can just mount it to the index.html in here which has id of app i'll just have to mention that particular id in here so now the vjs is mounted and we'll be able to see no difference because actually the Nothing is visible in this particular app. Let me just add something in here that is data. Once I write data in here, I just have to write a return and I can return any kind of object. I've just written as of now a message which says just hello world. Why not? In programming, we use hello world for everything, so I'll just use it here also. So once I read, wrote hello world here, I can just print that particular template in here because it's already linked via this particular main.js mount. We can use this particular variable in the templating syntax here just like this and it still works. Let me just change this particular hello world to, to something else that is I'll just type my name Anjanath and you can see instantly it changes into Manjanath. As of now we are using this particular 
templating string it only because video cdn is linked here and main.js is linked here so that's how easy it is to link any kind of Vue.js application to your existing application no? but just by using one cdn in here you'll get all sort of Vue.js ability which you can see anywhere by using this particular index.html and this cdn so that's it for this video guys see you in next video don't forget to subscribe